Oh no! Looks like the Shredder and Sam Rockwell have found the turtle's secret sewer lair. It's time for turtle soup. Really? You know where these guys live, right? They probably taste like used diapers or Denny's. Dude, could you just suspend your disbelief just for a little bit? Could you stop using terrible metaphor? Uh, it's a euphemism. It is? Yeah, I'm implying that the Shredder is going to kick the shit out of the Ninja Turtles. I'm not actually expecting him to make turtle soup. If he wanted turtle soup that bad, he could just go to the f***ing store and buy some. Oh, touche. You don't get laid much, do you? Dude, I have a Ninja Turtles playset in my living room. What do you think? The new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Secret Sewer Lair playset. The massive 43-inch home of the turtles comes with tons of amazing features, like the secret dumpster periscope, the hidden spring-loaded power line launcher, and even a turtle fly line. All you for missing your ass! The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Secret Sewer Lair Playset from Playmates. Hey guys, BC Direct here with another shell-tastic review brought to you by Playmates Toys exclusively for ToyWorldOrder.com. There are skeptics out there that say the playset era is dead, that we had our romp in the 80s and early 90s with the USS Flag, the Technodrome, and the original Turtle Sewer Lair. And for the most part, they've been right. There hasn't really been a good playset for a number of years. Until now. Let's take a look. The 2012 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Secret Sewer Lair playset is the most insane playset ever released from Playmates Toys. The box it comes in is gigantic and features both a vertical and horizontal face. Just like the packaging from yesteryear, the box features a diagram style design that points out some of the many, many features of this set. The sides of the box are filled with images of these features. It also spells out everything in detail on a handy, organized list. Opening this box and finding everything inside was frightening and exciting all at the same time. But rest assured, building is a snap. I won't go into detail about how to build this thing or put the stickers on. There's a certain zen that you get from putting these things together and I'm not about to take that feeling away from you. You can use the instruction sheet included to follow the steps, or you can watch the handy assembly video at PlaymatesToys.com. Standing at about 43 inches tall, 3 feet wide, and 17 inches deep, this set easily dwarfs any Ninja Turtle vehicle or playset that currently exists. Two-thirds of the playset is the underground lair, while the remaining third puts you on the streets of New York City. The set is made of a somewhat durable plastic and cardboard backing with a cool stylish representation of the sewers and the New York City skyline. The set features a cool dummy shred head for your turtles to practice on. There's also a sewer tunnel that flips open to reveal Donatello's secret computer lab. What's he checking out there? Hmm. We have also have two ladders, a secret gated hatch, a hidden computer area with a trap floor just in case the foot try to access any of the turtle's secret files. There's also a secret dumpster periscope that pops out of the dumpster on the street to make sure the coast is clear. I actually really like the periscope as it seems to be an homage to the original playset where the periscope was a fire hydrant. Now the turtles can access the lair one of two ways. There's the manhole cover entrance that opens with the flip of a switch. Or they can take the elevator down from Antonio's Pizzarama. I just hope someone doesn't stumble into the lair accidentally while trying to get a slice of pizza. Some of the other features include an entrance to Splitter's Dojo, done with a Japanese style sliding doors, and my favorite, a tire swing that attaches anywhere so your turtles can hang around after a long day. The street level features a dumpster to disguise the periscope. You can actually open up the other side and stick a turtle in there to hide him if you want. There is a fire escape with a fold down ladder, and on the offense, there's a hidden spring-loaded power line launcher disguised as a transformer. The middle button fires a missile with quite a bit of force. The set also includes a working zip line called the Turtle Fly Line. One side of the line has a clamp and the other side hooks onto one of the many pipes in the sewer. The handle of the zip has a pulley that helps the turtles fly down the line even faster. I think this is a cool idea and I know that kids will love it. Another feature it mentioned is the Mutagen Ooze Drain Pipe. On the street level, there is a red barrel that sits on a hinge and can fall downward into a funnel. The pipe, which can rotate, features a very detailed sculpt of flowing ooze on the end. Now on the side of the box it says ooze not included. Luckily, I always have ooze on me. 
I've tried using the ooze on this feature and my ooze is just too viscous. At first it got stuck in the pipe and then once I put it on the open part, it still took a few minutes before it finally fell onto Donatello. Now Playmates is planning on releasing ooze in the near future and I feel when they do, it's going to have to be very thin, almost like water for it to work with the angle of this pipe. Features aside, everything in this set looks amazing. There are over 15 areas for your turtles to stand and fight. What I'm really surprised with is how well the molds of this plastic actually look. It would have been easy for Playmates to just make flat molds of walls and pipes, but they not only took the time to give them texture, but even to give an appearance of broken bricks and damaged pipes. They've even added fun props like the street light. It doesn't do anything but sit there and look pretty, but it was the perfect addition for the street level ambiance. I mentioned in my sewer spin and skateboard review that I am a collector of limited space, and honestly, that's my only problem with this set. I have nowhere to put it. It's not Playmate's fault that I have too much crap in my room. If anything, I'm thoroughly impressed that the set's too big. You tell a company to shoot for the moon and they build a set that damn near takes you up to it. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Secret Sewer Lair playset will retail for about 120 bucks when it hits retailers in mid-August. I realize the price point may be a little high for some, but take it from me, this set is worth it. We all know that the playset has been a dying trend, but Playmates may have single-handedly brought it back with this one. Let's just keep our fingers crossed for a Technodrome in the same scale. For Toy World Order, this has been BC Direct. Stalk me on Twitter at BC Direct 720 And don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. Catch you later. <laughs>